The thing about my electronics projects is that they all need power and the power needs to come from somewhere. And it doesn't really matter if the device that we need to charge is a camera or if it's a laptop, they all need power. And they usually need power between five and 20 volts. And USB-C is very nice because we can get all of those powers from there. I found recently that IKEA sells this nice charger that takes in wall power and outputs two USBs and one USB-C, anything from five volts to 20 volts. The thing is that I already have a bunch of chargers. Do I really need to buy new ones to be able to do all of the stuff that I need? And turns out that no, I don't. I can just get one of these. This is a converter that turns 20 volts into anything between 5 and 20 volts. And it takes in ThinkPad square plugs. So as long as you have ThinkPad chargers, you can just plug them in and you get anything between 5 and 20 volts out. But now you'd say that but I don't have those square plugs, I only have the old style ThinkPad connectors. That's not really a problem, because here is an old style barrel jack, and here is an adapter. You can adapt the old ThinkPad chargers to be used like this. And with that, we now have a 65 watt variable power supply for our projects. I mean, it's not very pretty, but considering that these cost less than 10 bucks, it's quite cheap to make variable power supplies for your project. And here, I can show them in action. Here, for example, we have one of those charging boards. And we'll just go ahead and connect this thing. And thanks to the lights, no one can actually see what I just did. There we go. And we get five volts out. If we then take one of the trigger boards. We get 12 out, or well, 12 and a half really. And here's another trigger board configured for 20 volts and surprisingly we get 20 volts out yeah this was a great find for me because I have a lot of old ThinkPad power supplies and since these are so cheap I can get a bunch of these and convert the old power supplies to useful stuff for new electronics instead of having to throw them away even though they still work. There will be links in the description where you can find these and where you can also find these. That's all for today. I hope this has been helpful for you and I'll see you next time.